Hey, yo, it's your boy CJ Mello. We are back with another episode of Comic Saturday. Yes, I have been lazy with these things, man. I have been lazy, lazy with these things. So we are doing the most recent Blue Beetle, which started in September. And now I think the current run of this storyline just finished, I think, just the other day. We are in March now. So they like, I think two days ago. Two days ago. One or two days ago. Yeah. I can't remember exactly. But uh, yeah, we're going back into Blue Beetle. If remember last time we did our graduation day. And at the end of graduation day, we got introduced to, I think it was three new new Beatles. Red. Maybe not red yet. I know it was yellow and green. Dynaste, and I forgot the other one's name. But basically, this is the continuation of that. Like how they all get to basically coincide with each other, become a team in a way kind of thing. This is all part of our DC's Dawn of DC line that they're been doing now for i feel like six months i want to say now it could be i think it started it's august or september but yeah this is uh that new episode i like this first issue only because of the cover it was because september is was hispanic heritage month and i got like the blue beetle cover for that or i got like every cover of that for that month but blue beetle cover just looks so dope from gutierrez to the hero and um Quintanilla. Quintana, excuse me, did a great job with the cover. You know what I'm saying? I have not read this yet. Again, this first story arc is seven issues. For some reason, I only got three, and I know I bought four. But either way, so I got to go find four, five, six, seven at some point. But this will be cool if we get into this. Uh, so, yeah, let's go. You don't know what it is. It's your boy CJ Mello. Comic Saturday. Let's go. Yeah. You may have heard that the Blue Beetle is a space alien that I'm an evil science experiment created by the, Bre the Reach, that I am a superhero, but there's a lot more to me and my Scarab than you realize. Dan Garrett found the Scarab, Kajida, and used his power to fight crime as the first Blue Beetle. When he died, he passed Kajida to my mentor and friend, Ted Kord. The second Blue Beetle was born. For years after Dan's death, Kaji was dormant. Ted couldn't access the abilities. The Scarab granted and could never figure out why. But Ted is a true hero, relying on tech instead of the power of the Scarab. So one day, they found me, and I became a part of this legacy, this family. For a long time, I thought I knew the whole story. But with Kajida, there were always secrets hiding in the shadows. Don't worry, I got you. The Scarab War, Chapter 1. Hothile targets approaching, how many days? I know Kaji. Ah, they really don't let up, huh? <clears throat> Who are these guys anyways? The Mad Men. Delirious and demented thugs from my old stomping grounds in Opal City. Haven't thought of them in years. They're powerful and mind controlled by their leader, Farley Fleeter. Farley Fleeter is that his real name? Asked Kajida. Take them seriously, Jaime. These guys are killers. You got this, kid, says Ted Cord. Ha! You miss as Farley throws a zap at Jaime. Determining effective countermeasures for building collapse. Uh, could you hurry up with that? Don't worry, Jaime. We got your back. Dynastes, the yellow beetle. You can thank us later. Nitida, the green beetle. So how should we do this? Uh, divide and conquer? It's nice of you both to stop trying to murder me. Well, yay. We all make mistakes sometimes. <laughs> I'm a lot tougher than that. Yeah. Whoa, easy, Dynastis. You're gonna, you're gonna regret doing that. I'm fifty feet tall. Oomph. Ugh. As Nitida somehow just grew like Ant Man. Ted, are you okay? I'll be okay, Jaime. I just need to set the bug down somewhere. Don't let the madman get away. I better make this quick, Kajira. Says Jaime. Legalo that armor. Legalo armor activated. Huh? He's changing. Calibrating stun blasters as the beetle. Well, he looks like he just zapped the whole the whole crew. Also, our targets neutralized. How many layers? That's great and all, Kaji. But we made one hell of a mess doing it. Jaime, are you okay? Well, fine, Ted. Just a little uh green. How was I supposed to know that there was a giant bug ship hovering right over me? I uh, appreciate your help, but we have to try and limit the collateral damage. Hey, I took care of mine. You knocked into the next time zone. We have a lot of work to do. 
Yeah. Hey, can we sidebar for one minute? Ted asks Jaime. Uh, sorry about your shit, Mr. Cord. Jaime, how are you doing? I feel mixed. Dinas and Natita have so much power, but they have none of the experience I do. That comes in time. Remember, you weren't always the hero you are now. I'm just worried, I guess. I want to help them be the best heroes possible. I'm not worried at all, because I know that Dinas and Natita have something incredible going for them. And what's that? They have you. They couldn't have asked for a better leader than you. This is your moment, Jaime. I know you can do it. Me? A leader? Oh, Ted, you don't know how much that... Emergency alert, emergency alert. What is it? I'm detecting hostile communications coming from a nearby location. From where? Gloria's diner. Madre mia, que esta pasando? Ted, I need to go. I know. Go. We'll clean things up here. Thanks, Ted. I can always count on you. Always. Look, there's another one. Hey, I'm a good guy, remember? Get the beep out of here, out of our town. Whoa, watch your language. This is a family restaurant. The last thing I want us is to eat lunch in front of a bunch of aliens. Then leave. I can serve wherever I want. Imalemas gente grias. Heimer Blue Beetle. Incredible. What's going on, uh, citizens? Ever since the horizon arrived in Palmera City a few months ago, people have become so angry. We moved here because Palmera was a welcoming place. I don't know what has gone into people's hearts. The horizon are good people. But every time they show up, some other idiot makes a scene. This restaurant is for everyone. I'm afraid someone is going to get hurt. I don't know what to do. ¿Puedes hablar con ellos? Por supuesto, tía Gloria. I'll take care of everything. Welcome, Blue Beetle. We are greatly enjoying your native dishes. Empanadas. You two have cra- attracted quite a crowd. I don't see why the humans are so mad at us. We're just trying to have a nice, normal meal. <laughs> Rocked onto the window. Whoa! No more. We are being attacked when we are peaceful. It's time we fight back. Wait, wait. I understand your anger, but it will only make things worse. Then protect us, as you promised you would. I will. I just, uh, what did you say your name was? I am Oli of the Horizon, daughter of Shepherd God, and I will not tolerate hostility to warn ward me or my people. Police, I need you here right away. We have to leave. Things are getting out of hand. You wield the immense power of the Reach. You are our champion. Why don't you fight on our behalf? Fight? The Cords built a safe home for the Horizon. You know you're supposed to stay near the ship. I spent my entire life on that ship. I want to explore this planet, learn new things, meet new creatures. And I won't let anybody stop me. We will leave here in peace, but I will not stand for injustice. Do you hear me? Loud and clear. They hate us. What have we done to deserve this? You didn't do anything wrong. It takes time for us humans to adjust, but they will. I hope you're right. We have so much hope for this planet. Hey, don't give up yet. Things will improve here, I promise. Just leave the fighting to me, okay? Come on, Mov. We should return to the ship where we belong. Interesting. Things are getting already heated. The next day. Rowing Beach. Beware jellyfish. Baco, you're disgusting. What do you mean, Brando? You're practically wearing a thong. It's burning a horrible image into my brain. There's no shame in me celebrating the beauty of a human body. Can you both uh, shut up? Do we really need to be here, Shamara? What's wrong, Roma? It's good to finally have some downtime. I know we're supposed to protect the horizon, but maybe that's not what I want. I never asked to have a beetle permanently attached to my arm. I guess I'm going back to Bloodhaven and living a normal life is out of the question, huh? I'm so glad you both transferred to Palmera State University. It's a huge relief to have my best friends here. We're, here. We're happy to be here, Jaime. Fawcett Tech would have been bored. Besides, if I hadn't come here, I would never would have met the beautiful, stunning, remarkable Shamara at Azul. Keep talking, I will throw you into the ocean. You know, our college accepts late admissions. You still have time to apply. Ay, Brenda, ya basta. Beep, 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 as the phone goes off. Ugh, that's my boss. I better go. Boss? 
Did you get a job? Yeah, I'll tell you all about it later. Hmm. Something seems off. Do you know about this? Don't be so suspicious, high man. Life is good. Just sit back and soak in the sun, man. As Paco tells Hyman, you have nothing to worry about. What a mess. The madman should have been easy. Hmm. Victoria, that you? Activate security protocol, Sparky. Activating laser grid. Whoever you are, you're going to regret bringing them fight to me. Ooh. Oh, wait, what? That was, that was it? Did I just skip? No way, I just read that whole thing. Oh, wow. That was a very quick hit. Okay, I'm about to say, there's no way this is over. Imposter. Huh, yeah, okay. Better not come closer. That laser grid will give you some nasty cuts. Your worthless toys aren't going to save you. Computer, fire. Are you from the horizon or something else? Something that attacks Ted Core in his, where, in his beetle dorm. I dealt with worse than you. Doomsday, Maxwell Lord. Man, I have the worst luck. Activate temporal lock. Hmm? A trick I picked out from a good friend. Let's see. How do you like being frozen in time? Power and temporal dampeners now. Like I said, worthless toys. As whoever this is blows up the lab. No! The lab! Critical fire detected. Any last words? Just one. Bug! Whoosh! As a big explosion attacks whoever the intruder was. Did Ted Core survive? We don't know. I turn the page in a long time. A fool playing with fire. Ted Cord, who do you think you are? I am the Blue Beetle. No, you aren't. Oh, whoever this red cat is just killed, looks like it's killed uh, Ted Cord. You are just in my way. <sighs> Jaime. Next, a blue, a beetle crushed. Oh, who, 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 who. who is this new cat coming to play some games? Oh, he ain't being nice. He is not being a nice guy. I don't know who this intruder was, but it looks like he just killed, uh, killed Ted Cord. So what do you all think about that issue? That was a kind of a short issue, I feel like. But uh, I'm ready. The Scarab War Chapter 1. Scarab War Chapter 1. I'm excited for this. This is going to be fun. This is going to be fun, fun, fun for the next seven issues. Oh, my goodness. Seven issues. Woo! Like I said, we got Yellow Beetle, uh, Dynastis. We got Green Beetle, Nita, Natita, and also our homie Blue Beetle, Jaime. So uh, it's about to get crazy, y'all. It's about to get crazy. I hope you're ready for the ride. Yes, y'all know what it is. Go check out TikTok, Mellow dot, CJ.Mellow22. Go check out my YouTube at CJMello22 as well. Also, go check on my no, Facebook's gone anymore. My Twitch, CJ underscore Mello22. You know, let's have a good time here. Y'all want to drop some, some love? Let's go. Always it forever. My love. Peace.